Right, so I'm going to show you guys how to crack HTTP basic authentication, which is usually placed on websites like Tomcat, WordPress. It really matters, obviously, it's up to the developer or whoever is responsible for the website. Right, and the best tool for cracking this HTTP basic authentication is Hydra. Now, Hydra comes pre installed on basically most of a security distribution. But if you don't have it installed, all you need to do is type in sudo apt install hydra and it'll basically install it for you. As you can see, it's already installed for me, right? So I don't I don't need to do anything, right? So before I show you anything, I need to tell you that this is obviously for educational purposes only. Please don't do this against any website you don't have authorization for. Now, before you actually crack anything, I would recommend checking a little bit of basically what you're going against. For example, if you're going against Tomcat, it might be worth checking Tomcat default credentials to avoid wasting your time and trying to crack the password where the password was so simple that you could have literally done it yourself. But if the password is not basically default, right, and the, the credentials are actually changed, what you can do is you can crack this. As you can see, this is HTT basic authentication. What you can do is you can crack this window. So to crack this, what we're going to do is we're going to use Hydra. So if you type in Hydra, now here I'm going to specify a user so it doesn't take too long. If you don't have a user, all you need to do is just put capital L and specify a word list, right? So I'm going to specify my user. So my user is super user and now the password so i'm going to specify rock you now rock you is probably the worst word list that you can really use in a live production environment or like for bug bounty right after you choose your word list all we need to do is we just need to specify the euro so if you type in http get right and then colon and then basically the IP address with the directory. Now, important here is that if the directory is obviously protected, like if it's not the root, as you can see, if I go to root, as you can see, it is, there's no nothing to crack here, right? Because I have access to this. As you can see, it's password protected. So it's important that you do specify the correct URL. And um, this also obviously applies to anything that you're trying to do, like fuzzing and stuff like that. Now, and the protocol, as you can see, it says HTTP GET, right? I've wrote down HTTP GET. You need to know the difference when to use HTTP and HTTPS GET, right? So if you come to Google, as you can see, the connection is secure. So for Google, I will use HTTPS GET. Also, the protocol is in the URL. And also, as you can see on my local host, the connection is not secure, so it's HTTP. You need to understand the difference and when to use it. So if I let this run, all it's gonna do is gonna basically crack the password for me. And as you can see, it has been basically, it went very, very fast. So it says port 80 HTTP GET, right? So it works. Um, IP address or the domain, super user and the password is I love you. So let's actually test. So if I put super user and I love you, and if I access any file, if you get the contents of the file, it works, right? Right, so that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and peace.